From Target Field in Minneapolis, we've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab, Sonny Gray. What do we have on him? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Okay, all set to go. Here's Kike Hernandez. Two and one now. Little chopper rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. The 2-2. Two -two. That one is hammered right field. That ball's carrying. And it's off the top of the wall. The throw into second. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. That second. The third baseman. Raphael Devers Raphael. up to him. Devers. And that one fouled off. Runner at second. Nobody out. Way inside. Gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab one down. Batting third, the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. And here comes Xander Bogarts. Obviously, a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Here's a 1 1. Fought off foul. And now it's one and two. On the ground, right side. Polanco tosses the first. Bogart's retired. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. JD Martinez. J.D. Martinez stands in. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Next offering is in for a strike. Talking about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the game. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, but he embraces it. Two outs with a runner at third. And that one pulled foul. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Looked to me like he got on the side of the ball a little too much right there. Maybe a little too casual as well with the throwing motion. And when you don't stay on top of the ball and really get out front and finish with a good release point, it's very easy to lose control of it to either side. Here's Alex Verdugo. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, the right-hander deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. In the dirt. Throw to second, not in time, he's there easily.
Oh, that one almost gets him again. Red Sox already leading. And ball four to a board. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Trevor, Trevor Story comes up to the plate. On the ground at first. Sano throws the first in time. They limit the damage here. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Red Sox one, and the Twins come to bat. Bottom of the first. And getting the start for the Red Sox, Nathan Evaldi. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist, Singy. Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity, and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Bottom of the first, here's Byron Buxton. The wind in the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside. Swings and misses. One away. Now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's exactly. not just the pitcher. That's it's the other guys hitter. that have to think about Louis. it from your infielders. Oh, have to think guy. about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Two up, two down. Batting third, not shortstop, Carlo Correa. Two outs, base is empty. So up next for Minnesota, Carlos Correa. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. And now it's even up. The wide to kick the pitch. Ripped on a line. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Down go the Twins in order. They're down 1 0. Right. Back in Minnesota, top of the second. Here's a big power threat Bobby Dahlbeck. And a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He needs a quick 1-2-3 this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Zips it across. One up, one down. Good on side run and sink on that pitch right there. Batting got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Christian Vasquez. And now it's Christian Vasquez. <laughs> That's out to center field. Lays out and makes the play. 
This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boo. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there, and he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. And now, Jackie Bradley Jr. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Next one misses, and a count two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The count two and one on the ground and that's a base hit throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two now away third base. now it's Devers at the play kicks and deals and a count one and two And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Sano should have this one. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. Boston strands a pair, but they're on top, 1-0. Back at target field, we head to the bottom of the second. And the batter now, Jorge Polanco. High fly ball down the left field line. Verdugo makes the grab, and there's one down. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Miguel. Here's Miguel Sano. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And there's two away. Two outs, space is empty. Good. And now for the Twins, the Max Kepler. Max. Kepler. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Max Kepler knocks one out. And we're level. It's tied at one. to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off so it's all tied up thanks to the home run Gary Sanchez at the plate and a 2-1 hammered but foul the pitch and it's filled up in today's game you look at exit velocity as a measure of process and if guys are hitting the ball hard eventually the results usually follow Gary Sanchez he is a guy oh look at this throw to first and they get the out making it look easy at the keystone position definitely worth another look he'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. On the ground, right side. Toss to Sano. And one away in the top of the third. Now batting, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. And here is J.D. Martinez. Both you and I know how much attention to detail that J.D. Martinez pays. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. 
I venture to say you could put J.D. Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. A 1-1. One -one. And that's downstairs and outside. Here's a 2-1. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Out towards right center field. Buxton pulls it down. And yeah, there's two away. The batter number 10. Second base. Trevor Story. Here's Trevor Story now. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. And a pitch. To the right side. He'll do it himself. That's out number three. One left for the Red Sox. Still tied. 1-1. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Stepping in, Alex Kirilov. Kicks and fires. Off the plate, and it's two and one. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Well struck right field. That's back. Makes the catch crashing into the wall. Outstanding catch right there, and I Not love the commitment that the he showed. Basement. He knew that the wall go. was close, but was determined Come to make on. that catch, and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Down the line towards the corner, Bradley turns and moving to his left. Two down. The center fielder, number 25, Byron. Buxton. Byron Buxton now at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Ground ball up the middle, and it gets by him. The throw in, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. We played three full innings and we're tied at one. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Bobby Dahlbeck. Next offering down low and in the dirt. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Now batting. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. The 1-1. Yeah, this one bounces away from Sanchez. On the ground to short, Correa over to pick it up. Tosses across the first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind now him with another ground ball. Fielder, Good execution. So up next, Jackie Bradley Jr. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. Bradley waits. Jackie Bradley Jr. There's some swing and miss, but he's got some pop as well. The best example of a streaky hitter. When he gets hot, team can jump on his back as he will carry him for a while. And a foul ball. Runner leads away at second. And now the count filled up three and two. That's a really good take. So now three and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Kepler on the move to his right. Two away. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Enrique Hernandez. The 1-1. One -one. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. Kike Hernandez takes him deep, and the Red Sox jump in front. It's 3-1. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty with two away. Devers now. Here's a 1-1. One -one. There's a strike. Left hand hitter waits. Swung on, belted. That one back. Off the batter's eye and gone. Rafael Devers rounds the bases and they add to their lead. It's 4 1. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. Next pitch inside, and a count two and one. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. pitch and it's fouled away here comes the pitch there's a swing and a drop that's back pulls it in on the warning track but the long ball was working in this inning not once but twice it's now 4-1. Ready to go, bottom four. Luis Arise stands in. The Twins in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Left-hand batter waits. Over to Dahlbeck. One out in the bottom of the fourth. 
The batter number four. Shortstop, Carlos Correa. Now Correa up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. And here it comes. Lifted in the air, right field. That takes care of Correa. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting second baseman, Jorge. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Righty to the plate. And there's a foul ball. And the pitch. That one in the dirt, and it's three and two. Two down, nobody on. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That one back. And out of here. Jorge Polanco goes deep, and they inch closer. It's 4-2. Got the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Miguel Sano digs in now. Went down on strikes his first time through. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Miguel Sano sends it out, and they cut into the deficit. It's 4-3. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. So two away with nobody on. Now batting Max Kepler. And that one hammered. That's going back. Back some more. And that one is out of here. Three in a row. His second home run of the game, it's 4-4. And Siggy, he just loves hitting against this guy, doesn't he? It's like he's been facing him his entire life, but so comfortable in the box against him. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Here's Gary Sanchez now. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Miss struck him out. That ends the frame. They explode with three solo homers in the inning. On to the top of the fifth we go, and we are tied 4 4. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's JD Martinez. There's a 1-1. Into the dive, and he's got it! Oh, 
the left. Field. And wow, what a great diving catch. And the stat cast says that was a near perfect route, and it had to be. But that's just a big part of his game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays. And right there, he's done it again. And now, Alex Verdugo. That one out to right. Kepler moving under it. And there are two outs. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The batter number 10. This is important. Second I think go one, two, three here Trevor will be a very Story. positive sign for him and for his team. Here's Trevor Story. Story started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, didn't go. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. And that's ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Sonny Gray will depart, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Jarrell Cotton gets the call from the pen. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he needs a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's going to be Bobby Dahlbeck. That missed inside, and it's two and one. Right-hander kicks deals. That one's in there. Two and two now. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. And the Red Sox lead one. This game's all tied at four. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Alex Kirilov. Tied at four. That one down the line. Sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. Gior Shella to the plate. The one two. Next offering misses down and away. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch is outside. Full count now. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. pitch stays alive the pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two and he deals Line drive, caught! The center fielder, number 25, Byron Buxton. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. 
Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Byron Buxton. One for two. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. And that one gets away at the plate. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then no bury that curveball no down two. low to get him Designated swinging. Hitter. Now, especially with how effective Louis. pitchers work up in the zone oh, these days, oh, yeah. that's a devastating combination. Luis arrives, getting ready to hit. This to center field, Hernandez on his way over, grabs it on the run, and that will end the inning. One left for Minnesota, still all square at four apiece. Top of the sixth inning, so here's Christian Vasquez. Right-handed reliever. Bounced out to short. Correa over to first. And Vasquez is gone. The right fielder, number 19, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie Bradley Jr. will hit next. He's 0 for 1. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Ground ball, Sano. He handles it himself. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The center fielder, number five, T.K. Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez now at the plate. Ah, oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And Devers hits that one, makes the grab, and that's the inning. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. And we are tied 4-4. Bottom of the sixth inning, here's Carlos Correa. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him now look in, I think. Second but, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another Whoa, good pitch to go. get him to swing and miss. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. Next one is off the plate. Two and one. And a pitch. They say it went. Next pitch just misses. Full count three and two. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Verdugo under it. He's got it. Two down. The first baseman, number 22, Miguel. And here is Miguel Sano. He's already homered in this game.
Going to count one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next offering is down low. And the count is even two and two. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Twins retired in short order. Score remains tied at four. Back in Minnesota, we go to the top of the seventh. Joe so stepping in for Boston, Xander Bogarts. But why the kick the pitch? Not even close there. And now it's three and two. Kicks and deals. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Squeezes it. And there's one down. The JD Martinez. And now JD Martinez. He's a big strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. Two and one to JD. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And there's two down. The left fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo, up next for the Red Sox. The 2 2. Right side. On to first. Red Sox go 1 2 3. Down in order, go the Red Sox. This game's all tied at four. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Darwin Zin Hernandez. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. Darwin Zin Hernandez. The 1 1. And that one wrapped foul. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now the lefty. Chases that one out of the zone. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Foul ball. Come on, Twins. Next three, offering three. in the dirt. And that's ball three. At the belt and finals. And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there, anyhow. Oh, Here's Alex Kirilov. No left you know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Not close with that one. Now two balls and a strike. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. Two and two.
And a pitch. Stays alive. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run stands at first. Got him. And now two gone. Here's Gio Urshela. Third baseman. Gigo. Urshela. Back to work. 3 2 now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next AB. And now, Byron Buxton. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Fernandez settles underneath it, and that'll do it. Twin strand a pair. Still all square at four apiece. For the top of the eight, and stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The pitch. Next offering is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Next offering is fouled back. 2-2 two -two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Tapper back to the mound. Toss to Sano. And Story is out. Now batting. The first baseman. Bobby Dahlbeck. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. One for three. A wind and a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. That one misses, and it's two and two. High in the air, out to right. Makes the grab for the second out. Now batting the catcher. Christian Vasquez. Here's Christian Vasquez. And a swing and a miss. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. This one in the air right field. And Vasquez is gone. And that ends the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Score remains tied at four. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we now roll into the bottom of the eighth, Austin Davis. 56. Austin Davis. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Luis Arias. Next pitch way upstairs. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Come on, Twins. 
That hits the dirt, and it's a full count. Here comes a pitch. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. And here comes Carlos Correa. Correa. A one one. And another ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. The two one. Good eye in that spot. Calling this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. 3 1 is on the way. Base hit center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Throw holds him at second, but the go ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early, stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the catch for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying Number closed. Eight. If Number he does that, he's going to be able to go up the he middle can. the other way with some authority oh, instead of a fly out to left. And next for Minnesota, Miguel Sano. He's already homered here in this one. Next offering is foul back. And here it comes. That one the other way. And there's a hit. Throw comes in quickly. Holds that go-ahead run at third. And there's still one away. Anything but pretty right there. But he'll take it every time. Just a simple soft line in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pit. But he did a good job of staying through it. And that allowed him to fight it off and just get it up behind it. Now a huge at bat in this game. Knocks it down. He's in safely at second. As a run comes in and they take the lead. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. And now it's the catcher, Gary Sanchez. They say you went. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Got him looking. Two away. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Alex Kirilov, the next to hit. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Through eight full, it's the Twins five and the Red Sox four. Here comes the closer here in the ninth, Taylor Rogers. And he'll work on holding this lead. Number 55, Taylor Rogers. Back to target field. We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Ball to strike. That's a slider for a strike. The 
pitch. They say you went. Sanchez fires over to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Hit slowly on the ground. Now the throw to first on the run. Only one out left for the Red Sox. Now batting the third baseman, Rafael Devin. Rafael Devers getting ready to hit. Devers the baby-faced assassin. In the air, right field. Kepler going back on this one. And that'll wrap it up. The Twins hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. So this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come out in the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy with a win like this.